All right, ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, welcome to video one of your math lesson today. Bienvenidos a la primera lección de matemáticas. These videos are going to walk you step by step through today's lesson. This is the first video. For this lesson, you're going to need your Go Math books. If you could please take a moment to open up your Go Math book to lesson 14.3. That should be uh, page 523. Go ahead and get your materials ready, including a pencil and your book, please. So I'll give you a few seconds to do that. Página 523 del libro Go Math. This is volume two, by the way. Once you have it ready, just Wait for me to guide you through the first part of the lesson. This is gonna be my I do. So that means whatever I do here, you guys follow along on your books. If you're at home, just make sure that you have this page, um, this lesson pulled up on your um, virtual GoMath textbook. All right. Vamos a comenzar. Let's begin. Um, you guys have been learning about input output tables, about uh, graphing order pairs. Today we're going to continue on this concept. Now, the essential question for today is how can you display number patterns in a coordinate grid? Just to kind of recap here, a coordinate grid is this. It's a grid that has an x-axis, which is the horizontal line, and it has a y-axis, which is the vertical line. And it's important to understand that this coordinate grid is connected to the top parts of, uh, of the problem. You can use an input-output table to graph on a coordinate grid, and that's what we're going to do here today. So let's begin. I'll always start with the, with the, with the problem that they're going to give you with the story. The story says, when Alice completes each level in her favorite video game, she wins two extra lives. Okay, they're already giving you important information there. When she completes one level, they give you two lives. All right, so I'm just going to each level, I'm going to underline that here, please underline it, and two extra lives. Now, you're going to use a graph, a coordinate grid. Um, how many extra lives will Alice have after four levels? So we'll take that information from there and use it to make that input out the table. But think about it. One level completed two extra lives. Let's say she doesn't lose any lives um, on the next level. When she completes the next level, she's going to have four lives, right? Because every level she gets two. So let's start with this. Level one, extra lives. That's a two. They're giving me that there. Level two, well, if I use that same pattern, I'm going to get four lives, right? Now, if I go from there to the third level, I'm going to get another two. I'm going to get six lives. And when I complete, when I complete four uh, levels, I'm going to have a total of eight lives. Now, I want to make something very clear. The pattern is not from left to right here, from here to here. I'm not doing that. You need to understand that whenever there's an input output table here, you're moving from X to Y, which means you're moving from input to output. So you're moving from top to bottom, input to output, top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom, okay? That's the pattern that you need to be looking at. 
Now I do agree, it looks like it's plus two, plus two, plus two, but if you do that, you're not gonna get to the to, to the correct uh, answer that this problem is looking for. So let's take a look. Now, we made our input output table, okay? Now, I can use that to find my order pairs. Now, order pairs, as you learn, is a set of two values of an X coordinate and a Y coordinate, X and Y. Now here, your top number is always gonna be your X coordinate, and your bottom one is gonna be your Y coordinate. So for example, here, I already got my first one, one, comma two okay one comma two which means the input whenever you get one completed level you're gonna get two extra lives now for level two whenever you complete two comma four you're gonna get four lives and you continue three comma six and then next four comma eight okay this part is fundamental to figuring out what your coordinates are your order pairs have are okay now again it all goes back to the the story right here i'm already noticing that it's going to be from x to y you could do one plus one and it'll get two but if you do plus one here you have to do plus one here as well two plus one does that equal four no it equals three right so that cannot be plus one it's going to be times two one times two 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 times two four three times two six and four times two is eight. Now keep that in the back of your mind. Let's move on to the next part, to step three. Okay. Now let me go ahead and uh, erase. And uh, let me write these here again. One, two. It was what was the second one? That's right. Two, four. Then three, six, and four, eight. Now, I got my order pairs. I'm gonna plot those here on the order, on the, on the coordinate grid. Now, when you're plotting each of these, each of these is kind of like an address to get to a specific point in my, um, in my coordinate grid. Let me move this up just a little bit. There it goes. Now, you always start here at this, at this right here. That, that specific point, make sure you're writing this by the way, this is zero comma zero. That is called the origin. Any movement, any graphing that you do on an ordered pair, on a coordinate grid, is gonna start at the origin, okay? That's where it all starts like origin okay now remember each order pair has got two numbers two values the first one here let me rewrite this down here one comma two the first value is the x coordinate which means that you're gonna move to the right make sure you write that little arrow please okay and then the second value is the y coordinate, which means you're gonna move up. You're gonna move along the y axis. So in other words, you got an order pair, start at the zero, because that's that's where you always start. You move one to the right and two up, and you end here. Okay, and let's go ahead and put it here. One comma two. Okay. Now, let's go to the next one. Go back to the zero, to the origin. Zero, two to the right, and four up. Two to the right and four up, and you're gonna end up right here. 
And I'm not gonna write it down because it's a little difficult for me to write on this with, with this, but you can. So that's two, four. The next one is three, six. Three to the right and six up. There it goes. One, two, three to the right and six up. You see? So it matches here on the X axis and here on the Y axis. And lastly, I have my last. Four to the right and eight up. One, two, three, four. And then you go all the way to eight. And that's what my fourth uh, point is. So to go back to the problem, to the, the, the story that they were giving you, if she, Alice, completes four levels, she's going to have eight extra lives. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you use one of these. Right? We're going to continue to practice, and this is just the first video. Um, we're going to, on the next video, we're going to practice uh, a little more so that you, you start to get better at these. All right, let's continue to the next page. So page 524. And then you're gonna go to the bottom part of the page and you're gonna find problem one on the share and show um, side. Okay, it's the last two problems on that page. Now, there were a few things that we had to do in order to be able to graph on a coordinate plane, right? That's the main outcome to graph onto a coordinate plane. But in order to do that, first, we need to understand the problem, really the story that this problem is giving you. And after that, fill in your um, order, uh, your um, input output table, okay? And then use that information to um, move along here and to the graph. So we'll do those step by step. All right, number one. We say, multiply the number of nickels by five, multiply, keyword, oops, multiply by five. So that's, I'm gonna multiply to find the number of pennies that equal the value. This is a rule, okay? This is a rule they're giving you. It's saying, hey, anything that you have in the input you're gonna multiply it times five to figure out what the output is. So I'm going to, where it says by five, I'm gonna do it times five, because I know it means multiplication. So please do that too. Now, and they started to do it here. One times five equals, can hear you. That's right, five. Now, two times five equals 10. Three times five equals 15. And four times five equals 20. So you can just use that rule to find the output. And it makes sense, right? A nickel is worth five cents. So if you have one nickel, you're gonna have five pennies, two nickels, 10, and so on. Now, so we did the first part. We use this story to figure out the outputs. And from there, now we're gonna use the order pairs. Okay, so the first one, here it is. One comma, five. What's the second one? That's right. Two comma, 10. Who can give me the third one? Almost, come on. Come on, uh, Marco said 5B or 5A. I don't know where you are, but it's 315, right? And then the last one, this one's for Kayla. Kayla, what's the last one? Four comma, 20, you got it. So the first thing we did is we 
filled up the input output table. The second thing we did is get the order pairs. And guess what? The last thing is just gonna take those order pairs and plot them on my coordinate grid. Remember, the first number moves to the right, and the second number moves to the, actually moves up, because the x, this is the x value, and this is the y value. So one comma five, one, so starting at the here, who can remember, what is that one point called? Right here. Come on, what, what was it? It's where it all begins. It starts with an O. That's right, it's the origin, right? So we'll start at the origin. One comma five, move one to the right and five up. So here's my first point, first plot. The next one, so I already did this. Two to the right and 10 up. Two to the right and 10 up. Bingo, check. Three to the right and 15 up. Bingo. Oh, forgot to do the arrows. And then four to the right and 20 up. And that's it. You've graphed your um, your your points, your 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 order pairs. Now, just to give you a little background on this. Um, this type of um, problems are meant for you to understand relationships, right? They, they are connected. The number of nickels on the input, so this is the input, because it's on the y-axis, is related to the output, which is here. And that's the number of pennies. Sorry about the bad handwriting, but when I have one nickel, I have five pennies, two nickels, ten pennies, and you continue. So that's really the, the, the basic um, uh, foundation of, of this, seeing relationships from X to Y, okay? Now, very quickly, I'm going to give you three minutes to work on problem two, okay? Number one, read the story. Here's add five, so do plus five, and you're adding it to the input. Okay, so one plus five, two plus five, three plus five, and so on. Okay, so I'll give you three minutes. Go ahead, it's your turn.
All right, uh, your three minutes are up. If you take a look at this, um, this this should have been your um, your the work that you did. I am I am missing something. I'm missing the order pair, so I'll go ahead and write them here. One comma six, two comma seven, three comma eight, four comma nine, and then I'll just use these to plot them in my um, coordinate plane, my coordinate grid. Remember, the first value is the x value. Do not forget, always, always, always move to the right, starting at the origin, always. And then after you move to the right, wherever you end up, then you move up. I don't know if you guys have ever played a, a table game. It's called um, Battleship. With Battleship, this is exactly what you're doing. You're measuring coordinates to try to um, get the enemy's ship, right? Yeah, this is exactly like um, Battleship. You're moving along the, the coordinate grid to get to a specific location. Okay, um, here's what, I, what we'll do next. Um, actually, I'll tell you on the next video. So go ahead and click on video three. Thank you. All right, so now you, this is video three, by the way, now you're in your you do. Okay, so at this, at this time, you're gonna get some independent practice. Your teacher's gonna be walking around and um, offering you any assistance. So if at any time you need help, just raise your hand and someone will come to you and, and guide you back in the right directions. But before I let you go, I'm gonna tell you what page you're gonna work on, okay? You're gonna work on page 527 of your book. Okay, which is the yellow homework page. You're gonna work on problems one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, each problem is gonna have some type of graph or input at the table. This goes with this problem. This one goes with number two. Three goes with number with this one. Okay, so make sure you you pay close attention to that. And then four has an input output table and the graph, okay? So but, but pay very close attention to that. Just to remind you of um, the steps we took. Remember, those are your success criteria. The first thing you do, it's right here. You find the rule. Read the problem and find the rule. That's the first thing we have to do. Number two, complete the table the input output table. Using that rule that you just found, complete the table. Number three, you're gonna write your order pairs, right? You found your rule, you completed the table, now take out the order pairs, and remember, those go in parentheses. And then lastly, you're gonna go and graph the order pairs that you just created. Okay, those four steps, if you'd like to write those down in your journal or in your page, you're more than welcome to. But at this time, you're going to um, uh, work on, on page 527 using the, um, the steps that we just went over. Okay, and if you need to click back on my first video, my second video, to remind yourself of the process, please do, it's okay. Okay, when you finish this, you're going to do your DOL, and that's going to be located in All in Learning, but your teacher will let you know whenever it's time to complete your DOL. All right, happy working. See you.